So in our lab, we use the zebrafish, which is a common tropical fish you can find in a pet shop, to study blood development in cancer. It's actually quite humbling that these little fish actually have very similar genes to, uh, to human beings. Over the last few years that I've been here, we've uh, been developing some of these models, putting human cancer genes into the fish, putting human cancer cells into the fish, and now we're really poised to start doing some of this drug screening. Uh, I think that's going to be tremendously valuable. One of the other advantages the fish has is because they're transparent, it allows us to see how cancer cells interact in the fish with fish, fish blood vessels and other cells of the immune system, which we know play a role into making cancer spread and becoming more aggressive. And then the zebrafish, because of the large numbers, it allows us to do screens in zebrafish embryos of many, many compounds to try and find new drugs that can uh, treat or improve uh, cancer, um, which would be really very expensive and challenging to do in a traditional mouse system. The Peggy Davison Award from Cancer Care Nova Scotia really is, is a tremendous uh, honor and privilege for us. Um, uh, this award really highlights uh, a lot of the work that we've done in the past and will provide us the opportunity to really move forward um, and expand our research operations. This award will really allow um, the, the zebrafish work we're doing um, to really be cutting edge, leading the pact uh, in Nova Scotia and in the country um, for doing this kind of work and, and, and using this valuable model system uh, to really improve cancer care.